Terminator is is something we've all grown up with. It we're all such huge fans of it, and McGee is such a fan of it as well. But here was a new beginning. Here was an, a chance of taking the first three movies, which were fantastic, but building on top of those. You know, all the previous movies have always been based in Los Angeles, and that's where Marcus is rebirthed out of the ground, and he takes this wonderful epic journey where he then comes across Los Angeles, and there we get to see the devastation of Judgment Day. We did a lot of research on the internet of um, testing facilities and testing places where nuclear explosions have been let off over over the over the years, and just seen what happened to the land there and how Mother Nature has almost fought back. You know, the humans have been pushed back, the buildings have all been crumbled, but Mother Nature has now grown over the top. McGee found this wonderful series of sand dunes. So we then took the elements that we had and brought that into that world, and it sort of almost produced David Lean landscapes. We're in an epic war movie. We're, we're in battle with these Terminators on a, on a daily basis. In this movie, we've actually got 10 new Terminators. Some are in the water, some are in the sky, and some actually travel along the road. The Harvester is the big beast that is sent out to try and grab the members of the Resistance as they're found. huge, huge harvester sends out the moto terminators, a sort of motorbike-based terminators that move very, very fast and bring the humans back to him. The resistance of obviously trying to, to make do with what was around a, a judgment day and what has survived over the period of 10 years since the bombs have gone off. So it's a scavenging world with regards to the resistance. We get to actually go down to see where the resistance are hiding out. And it's a very sort of sad and underground sort of world that they're now living in. Christian Bell is a superstar and I actually see him face to face with one of these Hydrobots was very exciting because he brought it to life. Our movie, although it is it's the fourth in the series, is actually set before Terminator 1, 2, and 3. We had to take the T-800, which was James Cameron's silver Terminator, and reverse engineer that. So we had to take all those mechanical bits that make the arms work and make them bigger and more brutal. And that's what came up with our, our T-600. so wonderful to you know come up with these fun ideas do a, a fun sort of series of coloring in drawings and things like that and then later a couple of months down the line come and see your your, your dream there in reality in front of you come with me if you want to live